Hello everyone. Today we are going to analyze this beam using slope deflection method. Before analyzing, let us see the beam one time. In this beam, there are three spans span AB, span BC, and span CD. In the span AB, there is a concentrated moment 25 kilonewton meter acting at 2 meter from the point A. In the span BC, there is a concentrated moment 20 kilonewton meter acting in the center. Both of the moments are acting in the clockwise direction. In the span CD, there is a concentrated load 12.5 kN acting at 3 meter from the point C. In the points A, B and C, there are hinged supports. In the point D, there is a fixed support. Span AB is 5 meter long. Span BC is 4 meter long. Span CD is 5 meter long. In this beam, totally we have to find 5 moments. In the point A, there will be no moment because it is the simply supported end. In the joint B, there are 2 moments MBA and MBC. In the joint C also, there are 2 moments MCB and MCD. In the point D, we are having a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be a moment. Here, the moment is MDC. So, totally we have to find 5 moments. Also, we have to find 4 vertical reactions RA, RB, RC and RD. Now, we are going to find the fixed end moments. First, let us take the span AB and find the fixed end moments. In the span AB, there is a clockwise concentrated moment. This moment is not acting on the center. The formulas to calculate the fixed end moments are minus MB upon L square into B minus 2A and MA upon L square into 2B minus A. Here, M is 25, A is 2, B is 3. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of AB and M of BA. Now, let us make the fixed end moments in the span BC. In the span BC, there is a clockwise concentrated moment. This moment is acting in the center. The formula for the fixed end moments are M upon 4 and M upon 4. After applying the value of M in the formula, we are getting M of BC and M of CB. Now, let us make the fixed end moments in the span CD. In the span CD, there is a concentrated load 12.5 kN. It is not acting on the center. The formulas to calculate the fixed end moments are minus WAB square upon L square and positive WA square B upon L square. Here W is 12.5, A is 3, B is 2. L is 5. When we apply the values inside the formulas, we are getting M of CD and M of DC. In the slope deflection method, we have to see the number of supports in which slope can occur. Let us see the conditions. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. In the hinged support, there will be slope. In the roller support also, there will be slope. In this beam, in the points A, B and C, there are hinged supports. So, the number of supports where slope can occur is 3. In the point A, there is theta A. 
in the point B there is theta B and in the point C there is theta C. So in this analysis there are three unknowns. If we calculate these three unknowns we can easily find the final moments. To calculate these three unknowns we need three equilibrium equations. In the point A there will be no movement because it is a simply supported end. So MAB is equal to 0. This is our first equilibrium equation. In the joint B there are two movements MBA and MBC. When we add both of them it will be 0. It is our second equilibrium equation. In the joint C also there are two movements MCB and MCD. When we add both of them it will be 0. This is our third equilibrium equation. Now let us start making the slope deflection equations. First let us make them in the span AB. We have already calculated the fixed end movements. Let us apply them. Length of AB is 5 meter. Let us apply in both of the equations. In this equation, let us make the first equilibrium equation. We know that MAB is equal to 0. Instead of MAB, let us apply 0. Then let us take this 3 on the left side. It will become negative. This is our first equilibrium equation. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the span BC. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of BC is 4 meter. Let us apply in both of the equations. Finally, we are making two equations. Now let us make the slope deflection equations in the span CD. Let us apply the fixed end moments. Length of CD is 5 meter. Let us apply that. In the point D, there is a fixed support. In the fixed support, there will be no slope. So, theta D is equal to 0. Finally, we are making two equations. We have made one equilibrium equation. But we have to make two more equations. The second equilibrium equation can be made in the joint B. We know that MBA plus MBC is equal to 0. For MBA and MBC, we have already made the slope deflection equations. Let us apply them. After adding and simplifying all of the values, we are making the second equilibrium equation. Let us keep this equation as number 7. Now let us make the third equilibrium equation. The third equilibrium equation can be made in the joint C. Here MCB plus MCD is equal to 0. For MCB and MCD, we have already made the slope deflection equations. Let us apply them. After adding and simplifying all of the values, we are making the third equilibrium equation. Let us name the third equilibrium equation as equation number 8. Now we can use calculator and solve these three equations. If you do not know how to solve three equations in the calculator, see the description below. There is a link. You can click the link and watch the video. After solving, we are getting Ea theta A, Ea theta B and Ea theta C. When we apply the value of Ea theta A and Ea theta B in the equation number 2, we are getting MBA. When we apply the values of Ea theta B and Ea theta C in the equation number 3, we are getting MBC. When we apply the values of Ea theta B and Ea theta C in the equation number 4, we are getting MCB. When we apply the value of Ea theta C in the equation number 5, 
we are getting MCD. When we apply the value of Ea theta c in the equation number 6, we are getting MDC. So, in this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. In this analysis, we have calculated all of the moments. Now, we are going to find the vertical reactions. First, let us take the span AB and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span AB, there is only one moment that is MBA, which is acting in the clockwise direction. In this span, first I am going to calculate RA. For that, I am going to take moment about B. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Clockwise will be positive and anticlockwise will be negative. RA is acting towards the point B in the clockwise direction. So it will be positive and the distance is 5 meter. So 5 RA. Then there are two moments 25 and 1.66. Both of them are acting in the clockwise direction. So both of them are positive. Finally for RA we are getting 5.33. For RA, we got a negative value. That means our assumption is wrong. We assumed that RA is acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. Now, let us apply the rule summation of vertical forces is equal to zero and calculate RB1. In this span, there are two vertical forces RA and RB1. We know that RA is acting downwards, so it should be negative. RB1 is acting upwards, so it should be positive. Here, let us apply the value of RA. In this way, we can calculate RB1, which is equal to 5.33 kN. Now, let us take the span BC and calculate the reactions. In the span BC, there are two moments, MBC which is acting in the clockwise direction and MCB which is acting in the anticlockwise direction. In this span, first I am going to calculate RB2. For that, I am going to take moment about C. RB2 is acting towards the point C in the clockwise direction, so it will be positive. And the distance is 4 meter. So for RB2, then there are three moments. 1.66 moment is acting in the anticlockwise direction, so it will be negative. The moments 20 and 3.76 are acting in the clockwise direction, so both of them are positive. Finally, we are getting RB2 5.53 kN. For RB2, we got a negative value. That means our assumption is wrong. We assumed that RB2 is acting upwards, but actually it is acting downwards. Now, using the rule, summation of vertical forces is equal to zero, we can calculate RC1. After applying the rule, we are getting RC1, which is equal to 5.53 kN. Now, let us take the span CD and calculate the vertical reactions. In the span CD, there are two moments. MCD which is acting in the anticlockwise direction and MDC which is acting in the clockwise direction. By taking moment about D, we can calculate RC2 which is equal to 3.73 kN. By applying this rule, we can calculate Rd, which is equal to 8.77 kN. In the point B, we have calculated the reaction two times. Let us add both of them. After adding, we are getting 0.2 kN. For Rb, we got a negative value. That means it is acting downwards. For Rc also, we have calculated the reaction two times. Let us add the values. After adding, for RC, we are getting 9.26 kN. 
Now we are going to draw the shear force diagram. Before drawing the diagram, let us calculate the shear force values. I am going to calculate the shear force values from the point A and towards the point D. In this case, I am moving towards right hand side. Upwards will be positive and downwards will be negative. You can see the shear force calculations using the values we can make the shear force diagram. Now we are going to draw the free moment diagram. For drawing the free moment diagram, we have to consider every span as a separate simply supported beam and calculate the moments. If in the simply supported beam, concentrated moment is acting in the clockwise direction and it is not acting on the center, the formula to calculate the ordinates are MB upon L and MA upon L. Here M is 25, A is 2, B is 3. After applying the values inside the formulas, we are getting 15 and 10. On the left side of the moment, it will be negative and on the right side, it will be positive. If in the simply supported beam, concentrated moment is acting in the clockwise direction and it is acting on the center, the formula to calculate the ordinates are m upon 2 and m upon 2. Both of the formulas are same. Here m is 20. After applying the values inside the formulas, we are getting the ordinates 10 and 10. On the left side of the moment, it will be negative and on the right side, it will be positive. Then let us take the span CD. Here there is a point load 12.5 kN. It is not acting on the center. The formula to calculate the ordinate is WAB upon L. Using the formula, we are getting the ordinate 15. Now using the end moments, we can make the end moment diagram. Then we have to combine the free moment diagram and end moment diagram. So we will get the bending moment diagram. Now we are going to end this session. Thank you for watching this video.